Hi, this is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com. Thank you for watching today. I appreciate it. And this is my vlog. Uh, today I'm going to talk about e-discovery. Now, a lot of people know what e-discovery is already, and uh, a lot of people don't know what e-discovery is. So let's talk about what it is. Well, e-discovery is is when a lawyer comes to your company and hands you a piece of paper and says that they're going to sue you and um, they're going to need certain information out of your network so you have to preserve that information so they're going to want to know things like you know what did you do uh, two weeks ago what did you do five years ago what's the email from three years ago things like that so there's going to be a lot of questions concerning uh, business practices concerning your emails things like that and so you have to set up a network in such a way so that you can support e-discovery now the reason why i'm saying this to you is because sometimes you store too much stuff and uh, of course let me give you the exceptions here I am NOT a lawyer I cannot tell you how many years to keep things I cannot tell you what to do and what to keep and what not to keep so you have to get uh, legal advice in this and if you're a big organization you should uh, get legal advice on e-discovery some people don't think about this there was a large large fortune 500 company that decided uh, they would keep every single email forever and so they they had a lot of email the description was it took a warehouse of email and of course it was all on different devices it was on um it was a colorado drives it was on tape drives it was on this thing and that thing and everything else and they got an e-discovery notice that the, um, the the law firm was going to sue this company over some sort of employee problem or something. I don't know what it was. It doesn't really matter. But they were going to sue them, and they wanted every single email about this uh, policy, about this procedure, and about this uh, employee. And so they went down to the IT department. And they said, "We want every single um, email about this." You know, the leadership of the company went down to the employee. I mean, down to the IT department and said, "We need everything." And the IT department, of course, looked at it, and they had 20-plus years of backups sitting in a warehouse, some of which they could never even, you know, attack. Uh, they could never even download anymore, and it would take forever to do. And so what happened was the legal uh, counsel for that big corporation went back and uh, settled. They, they may have been right. But they couldn't produce the paperwork that that was necessary. So when you're building a system, you got to think about e-discovery, and you got to have some direction from your legal staff, things like that, about how long you keep things. If you're a government agency, you have to keep it certain time periods based on law. Um, if you're dealing with financial records, you have to keep those for so long and things like that. So the bottom line is, you have to figure out how long you're going to keep them, and then don't keep them any longer. Now there is good news. Uh, I'm a, I'm a cloud guy. I love cloud. So, you know, you save stuff in the cloud and you say like emails, they're going to be kept for three months. And then you tell the cloud at the end of three months time, these emails are to be deleted once a week that are older than three months, whatever your parameters are. But one of the things, this is part of cybersecurity, by the way. So one of the things in cybersecurity is you have to set up the policy that says uh, when these emails will be deleted and you have to prove um, in court uh, that this wasn't arbitrary in other words that you didn't just turn around and delete all these emails as soon as uh, you know the, as soon as the uh, uh, the lawyer gave you the demand for these emails or for this data so you had to prove in court that that wasn't the case so you got to be concerned with e-discovery as a corporation and uh, this is something that you should know as an IT person you know you're and a cabler, you know, you can mention something to your uh, customer about this. It gives you credibility because very few people know about e-discovery. Uh, but it's going to come back and bite them if they don't know about it. So you have to have it in policy. You have to show that you're enforcing the policy. And, of course, you do the cloud thing where the cloud deletes the information automatically. You can show it's, it's unbiased deletion, that you're not just deleting what the lawyer wants, things like that. So you can prove a lot of things in court. So just a really short one today, um, e-discovery, do a little bit of research, think about it. You gotta have policy, you gotta have procedures, you gotta document that you're doing things like that. And you gotta talk to a lawyer to find out how long you keep different types of data, you know, emails versus databases, things like that. Again, this is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com. Thank you for watching my vlog today. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.